Since the first animal fossil register approximately 800 million years ago, the Earth has suffered at least 12 massive extinctions, of which five were of truly gigantic proportions. Millions of species disappeared forever in these periods of massive deaths, but always some plants and animals remained as a point of departure for renewed diversification. Now, in the first years of the 21st century, a new extinction appears to be ravaging the planet with unusual virulence, destroying species at a speed hundreds of times greater than that of the five previous ones. And everything seems to indicate that we are the cause, the agents of this sixth massive extinction. When we hear of extinctions in prehistory, we tend to think of the time when the Earth was inhabited by fabulous animals, the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs dominated the zoology of our planet for 140 million years, a period which, in comparison with the history of our species, makes them almost eternal. But the dinosaurs only dominated the world for a brief period of time if we compare it with the age of the Earth. Even so, they are a fascinating example of the fragility of life. Because even though they were the most formidable, powerful beings that have ever lived on our planet, they could do nothing against the forces of the cosmos. A force almost impossible to imagine came from space. The giants would become a memory in their size, their fearsome weapons and their aggressiveness would be of no use to them. In the Russian roulette of the cosmos, a shot would be fired in the land of the dinosaurs. A medium-sized meteorite crashed into the Earth. It was neither the largest nor the most devastating of the many that have impacted against our planet, but the power of the impact was the equivalent of 10,000 times the detonation of all the nuclear weapons in the world. The forests burned, adding smoke to the dust raised by the impact and the eruptions of thousands of volcanoes. The sky was covered over, preventing the sun from getting through. The climate changed radically. Without light, many plants died. And without food, the giants of our history disappeared from the earth forever. But this tragedy of the Cretaceous era was neither the first, nor the most devastating massive extinction. A volcanic crater in the interior of the jungles of Costa Rica provides a clue to what the greatest murderers of prehistory were like. These small single-cell algae are the descendants of photosynthetic bacteria that changed the world 3,000 million years ago, producing the greatest case of contamination in the history of the world, a poisoning caused by a highly aggressive gas, oxygen. Photosynthetic bacteria dominated the Earth, changing its atmosphere. But they too lost their supremacy. When life began to devour itself, that is, when the animals were able to feed on plants and other animals. Today, stromatolites, colonies of these photosynthetic bacteria, only survive in isolated places like this Australian coast, 
living testimony to just how ephemeral supremacy can be on our planet. Another of the great agents of extinction came with the evolution of the Earth itself. Since life began, continental drift and fragmentation have brought brutal changes in all land and marine ecosystems. The movement of the tectonic plates changed currents, winds, river courses. It changed the land relief, the coasts, the islands. The structure of the world was radically altered. With the movement of the continental masses, the seas changed, affecting the climate throughout the planet. 60 million years ago, the supercontinent Gondwana broke apart, giving rise to new powerful oceans. Australia became an independent island and began its slow drift northwards. The marine currents changed their titanic flow, surrounding the southernmost continent with cold waters. And the Antarctic froze over.